like a little personal um, portrait of myself, I compose for guitar like an orchestra. And then I compose for the orchestra like if it's an enormous guitar. Why did you yourself stop playing the guitar? Well, I got a small accident which I, I still have hanging around in my right hand. And uh, someday I will take this out and I'll probably go back. Mm, of course, my main thing is to compose always. And as I am a conductor, I continue conducting more and more. And this is... Uh, a kind of substitute for the necessity of playing and communicating. For me, playing the guitar, which is the most beautiful instrument. Determination. We have four now. Someone has five. I think it's the only group in the, the third guitar. Though you have four notes. Then we think in grouping. One, two, one. Three, one. One, two, two, one. But not always one, two, three, or one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. No. We make one, one, two. One, two, three, one, one, two. You are surprised, someone is uh, shooting you. Okay, come on. And with more sound, more space in between. You, you, you act like a boxer. One of you should be the most aggressive, I don't know who is. One of you should react to defend the group. This one, good, you start. Come on. And then you jump. Three or four are the same. Good. Now you have to choose because they are going to, they are right in there. See. So let's see that the, suddenly you realize that you are two groups of, of uh, sportsmen or something. You have to see these guys and react to some of them. The reaction is between you. Okay. So you you keep these notes and you love them and you mix them and you educate them. You give these notes color, dynamic, intensity, and this is why you build out the improvisation. Through mathematics, through color, through dynamic, and this must be changing uh, 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 randomly, uh, openly, free, in a free way. Now, gradually, the whole group. I'm doing very much the master class of Love of the World. Sometimes, like now, uh, in reference, especially uh, to my music, I found, first of all, I found a marble school as a site. To study. I think these students are privileged to have uh, marvelous conditions around bibliothek places, concert rooms, uh, small places to study, concentrated. He developed this. The school, uh, guitar school, I mean, the guitar development is quite high. They are involved in the, in the almost professional level. 
very high. And uh, what I find always in the, in the entire world is sometimes an absolute respect for the classical contemporary music, which sometimes is too much. Uh, I say to the students that they have to, to play, to have fun sometimes with music, like uh, Jasmine does. Musicians should take profit of the music and use this for your technique. fantastisk inspirerande. för det första så är ju Leo Brauer en sån han är en sån person som har haft väldigt stor inflytelse på gitarrrepertoar. Så helt fram man bynte med de enklaste ting så hade han övelse och etyder som du har hållit på med. väldigt artiga och väldigt rytmiska ting. Och och så när man då exempel du jobbar med mer och mer avancerade ting Och du blir väldigt glad i den musiken och du vill gärna presentera det för så många som möjligt. Så om du då får träffa person som och han till gengäll är väldigt, väldigt hyggelig och väldigt utstrålig. Och, så är det fantastiskt inspirerande. projection only thing is sometimes the the sharp fortes mm -hmm. the fortes and the staccatos are too sharp that's what i want to to and we have a solution to that remember that guitar is a low instrument like violoncello mm -hmm. and the resonance of guitar needs more time mm -hmm. than the time of the violin or the piccolo the flute or the oboe now, before one meets Leo Brower, it's, it's just a piece of paper you play from, and you meet the person who creates these uh, marks on the piece of paper. And, uh, and on the other hand, you have a, we had a perfect performer, Kostas Kutsiolis, and that was really great to have the composer on the one hand and someone who plays his works perfectly on the other hand. Because it clarifies each of the uh, of the elements and the vibration between the dissonant elements can go uh, easier. So I suggest a couple of things. Let's put this. For example, here, get time to make the harmonic clear. Don't be hesitated by rhythm. Don't echo. One song. Yeah. 
harmonic, and don't, and don't forget, problems are always in the same place and for the same reason. Your fourth finger was not in time to get the harmonic, that's all. Try it. And remember, the fourth finger should arrive to the string, and then out. Take it for at once. Ba, ba, ba. very young I start composing to fill the gaps of the repertoire of the guitar. You have to think 30 years ago, not now, but you have enormous repertoire, but 30 years ago. Guitar has few pieces and I should say few masterpieces. As I, as I was young, as every young man thinks that he owns the universe for himself, I start filling the gaps of the repertoire. I say, well, there is no quintet by Brahms. What a pity. There is no piece for guitar and orchestra by Bartok. Uh, Prokofiev didn't do a concerto. Oh, my God. Schoenberg only did the serenade, and so, so I'm going to make what Bartok, Prokofiev, Rachmaninoff, Brahms didn't. <laughs> When I use some cells of the national mm, uh, roots, uh, heritage, I should say, I don't use it literally mm, as a daily shutting. It's like I do a kind of parable or metaphor of the language. It could be something like poetry is doing, a kind of concentration. A very concentrated language, very uh, syntactic, uh, with meanings, uh, very substantial meanings, I should say.
when the revolution won that first battle of, against the, the tyranny and the dictatorship of, in that moment was Batista, we felt an enormous freedom and uh, I think it remains. When this triumph, when revolutionary people, very few of them uh, remain at that very moment, uh, they won that first battle. We start doing free music, free literature, and uh, we pass almost directly through experimental facts and so. In, in very simple words, experimental music, avant-garde music, was common in that uh, beginning. So we start doing avant-garde music quite early in America. In, I mean Cuba. At the same way, we exhausted quite early. So more than 10, 15 years ago, we started to what we call maturity. I'm talking about the whole Cuba, my country. got more problems in, the, in, in my own people who are probably so near that they sometimes misunderstood, sometimes doesn't care. You have to take distance from something to be aware of it. Maybe this is something that happened here. We are far in distance, we are far as cultures in a way, but this is probably a good quality for understanding.